What's up, y'all? It's Alan. I got a new trailer pit in today. You can call it a trailer pit. It's raggedy. I mean, I'm surprised the top of it didn't fall off coming down here. But anyway, it's for my brother-in-law. He bought it off of some guy. And I mean, it's in bad shape. But we fix, I'm fixing to rebuild it. And I got three weeks until the little Red Bud Festival thing here at Vivian. And he wants to cook on it then, so we're going to put some work in on it. I just found out that I got a hole in my oxygen hose, so I just leaked all my oxygen out, and it's a Saturday night. So I don't know if it's going to be at least Monday before I can get some oxygen, but we're going to see what we can do. I got a lot of stuff cut off already. You can see the whole trailer there. It's a 16-foot trailer with an awning on it. That pit was already on there, it's junk. I gotta rebuild the whole thing. I cut this little table off of there. It was barely on. I cut this thing off of there. It damn near killed me. It's three eighths thick and I'd like to never got it off of there. It's gotta be about 400 pounds. It is huge, but it's not going back on. That stuff's not going back on. That's that pit. The doors will be cut off and squared like I did on the pit I gave to the church. See, the burn box is backwards. So I'm going to take it all off of there. I'm going to weld that door back shut, do the door on this side, connect them, turn this whole thing into a reverse flow smoker. Stuff I cut off. I cut that off. I cut that raggedy sink off over there. And you can see this is what it looked like when it got here. I was just trying to cut this gusset out when I ran out of oxygen. That's why it's all nasty looking. But this leg had already broke off. I think that one's actually holding. This leg's broke off. That one's holding. That leg's broke off. That leg's broke off. The front leg in that corner is broke off. I mean, it's, I don't know how he even got here without killing somebody. The welds are just horrible all over. This little part here should fold up. For an awning, you can see how much it shakes. Oh my god, we're gonna get all that fixed. This is that burn box, you can just leave it down, son. It'll all look different. It's an old pan in there for something. But I'm gonna get all this lip, get all the stuff off of here. I'm gonna weld this door back down. Apparently, they just cut to the end off of this tank and capped them both and put this pipe in between. That probably wasn't a good idea. I will this back shut, redo the door on the other side. Like I said, I'm going to square them all off. I'm going to take those doors off, redo the whole thing. It'll look completely different. I got some of it cut before I ran out of oxygen all the way. It's another gusset over there I started cutting on. Some kind of vent thing. I don't know. This thing is horrible looking. climb up there and show you these wells. I don't know how this thing made it here. But it's here. And we're going to redo the whole thing. It's going to look completely different. It's going to be five or six parts to this video probably to get it all in. But we're going to get it in. Got this door on. Some of the edges cut off of it. Right here, right here. Get some tacks on it, get this part off and these hinges off and tack that up so we can start welding it all up. cleaned up it's still a little cleanup left on it but I uh, got a lot of it off of there fixing to run a couple more tacks and get to weld it up like I say this door is just on the wrong side so it, it needs to come off and go around and all this still has to come apart and connect to here make reverse flow this and that but I got everything off I got a couple tacks I'm gonna run some more tacks just whoever cut this door it was a pretty bad cut so I'm gonna try to fill up a couple of these bigger gaps with the tack right there and right there 
gonna be a little worrisome to get a good well, but the well's coming off anyway, so. Run a couple more tacks. There's still a lip inside there. They put the top lip on the inside. So I'm gonna wait until I cut this side out to get that lip out. I may wait to weld this top so I don't bleed through and get none of that. And we'll go from there. All right, I got most of this burn box welded back up. You can see it going up the size. Like I say, I'm gonna wait on this top one. There's a lip inside there, and I don't want to bleed through that crack because that crack's pretty wide, and I'll probably bleed through it and weld to that lip. So I'm gonna wait until I get in there and get that lip out before I weld it. But I got the sides welded up. I got the bottom. I started grinding it off right here because, like I say, this whole weld is gonna come off just to kind of smooth it back out like it never happened just probably still be able to tell but it's coming on off of there uh, uh I cleaned this one leg up this is one of them that was broke off I cleaned it up I'm fixing to weld it back I'm probably I'm gonna have to take all this thing off because I mean it is falling apart these welds look you can see some of it right there I guess you can see that it's, I mean, it's just falling apart. Whoever welded this really should have had somebody else weld it. But anyway, I got this pipe cut off of there. I'm fixing to clean all that mess up and close it back up. The pipe will be on the other end because this, I'm turning this to a reverse flow. I got the doors cut off of here. Got some of the mess cleaned out of there. Uh, I still got to get these hinges, the rest of the hinge off, get this crap off. Uh, this is where the door will be on this side now. I got to cut all this out. This will come over and connect to here so I can create the reverse flow. The hole will be in here then. The door will be there. I'm going to have to revent it because I don't know what that was, but it was some kind of vent. And just go from there. I mean, there is a lot of stuff to do. Hopefully, he's going to be getting there's going to be eighth inch uh, floor plate on the floor. Hopefully, he's going to get that this week. I got a lot of cleaning up to do on it. You can see the rust right there. It had wood on it. Got a lot of cleaning up to do there, so I have something to weld to. This leg was broke off. I cut that gusset off of there. I'm going to clean all that up, get it welded back down, and put another gusset in there. Uh, that next one over there is broke. This one's still holding, but I'm still going to have to re-weld it to make sure it stays there. 
little bit of work. I'm probably going to cut this video short and start on the next one. This video is already getting long, explaining what's happening. So I'm probably just going to go ahead and cut this video short. Well, not short, it's still kind of long. Well, I have to recut all of this mess to get it straightened up. I mean, the cut is just... The cut is crazy. I don't know. They probably just was new to a torch or something. I don't know. I mean, everybody can't cut straight. Come get me. They had a good idea. They just didn't really have the... I guess wasn't experienced enough to make it, make it right. But I'm going to get it right. And I'm going to get him a nice trailer. For a little bit of nothing, I'm not even charging him that much. Because he's my brother-in-law and I'm just... Trying to hook him up a little bit. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get back to work on it. And I'll do the part two to the video on the next one. Go ahead and subscribe and like the videos. If you, if you like this type of builds. And you want to see this continue. We'll see you on the next one.